everyone good morning welcome back to my youtube channel i am making food at the moment because jeremy and i are going um out the house we have meetings scheduled and whew, girl those meetings are very exciting because we're actually busy with our own product and i know i told you guys that like a while ago i think like even half a year ago i talked about it but we never really got the chance to make it happen you know because there's a lot of work going into that and you just need a team for that and jeremy and i always did everything ourselves but at a certain point you just need to expand and you need to trust others <laughs> to be able to uh, do good in your company because that is like a big thing for us we never really trust anyone to hand out our stuff you know it's it's really um, a little bit stressful especially when you work so hard for your own thing and then you need to uh, let other people in but that's good because sometimes when you do find the good ones you can grow and you can grow together so that's good and I don't know if there's anyone out there watching right now who has his own company and needs to how do you say that like give stuff out of your hands um, so it just becomes better you know but damn that is so difficult so difficult especially when it's like a first time you know <sighs> it's like your baby and you don't want to let go like no <laughs> so I just finished up Jeremy's food just rice with egg so he can eat in a moment and now I'm going to make my own which is actually one of my favorite recipes lately because I'm trying to eat more vegetables I'm really I suck at it I just suck at it you know it's not really nice and it's like uh, you know I don't know just not a big fan of it so I'm trying to make um, kind of a taco slash burrito kind of bowl and I'm going to show you what it's going to be like <laughs> if you just give me a moment <laughs> Now because of the lime juice I put all over the salad, I know it's going to stay fresh for a longer while, especially the avocado, because if you leave avocado somewhere without lime juice, it gets brown and it's really nasty. So please make sure you put the lime over everything because it keeps it fresh, especially when you want to take it with you. I don't know, you can take it up for one to two hours max, 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 and then eat it. Um, and it's still super delicious. So I'm taking this with me for after the meeting. decided to go to KFC. It's Monday. We are not supposed to be cheating. Shut up. <laughs> Don't bullshit me. Just before this, I said, do you want something too? She said, yeah, <laughs> the same as you. And this guy, get away. I know. I, I just need to make a very what, dramatic what intro. Um, the, I think the six hot wings, right? Hot wings. Where is the Anyways, I am still eating the fresh salad I took with me. You and one fries, this, right? Anyways. The salad, um, like I told you guys, like I put some um, lime juice over it and that keeps it fresh because I think of the, how do you say it, As acidity? Acidity, I don't know, because it's really sour. It keeps uh, your food fresh. And shut even my uh, guacamole, shut up. shut up, even shut up. <laughs> <laughs> even my guacamole is still green and normally it always turns brown, like I told you, right? Look at this. 18 hot wings. So good, so good. 18 hot wings. 18 hot wings. Yes. How much did you order? 18. Right? 18. They didn't have 12. Yeah, 12 were for me and the rest for you. <laughs> okay. Jesus Christ, okay. Ah, oh, you're trying to be healthy now, huh? <laughs> It's pretty cool because this food has been in the car for two and a half hours without a fridge and it's still fresh. And why is that? 
We should put lime juice over it. And then the acidity levels. Yeah, I don't know the acidity levels. Don't That's a word, say, right? Don't you say the acid levels? Well, no, acidity. Ac acidity is acidity. like li literally a word. It's literally an acidity. You're an ass. That's why you get your hot wings. Thank you. <laughs> so satisfying, okay, KFC and salad. No, what happened? She was like, "What the fuck is going on?" Because you were pointing the camera here. Oh, she is on camera though. Yeah, but she was like, "Why am I being filmed? Is this some kind of test?" <laughs> A prank. <sighs> I'm just sniffing chicken. <sighs> the smell of this, guys. Oh, yeah. oh my god, I know. <laughs> is it nice? By the way, can you tell people in like what stage you're in now of fitness and what the hell you're doing? Because it's kind of funny. I'm in a state of chicken. <laughs> I'm in a you state know, of chicken. Um, I started two weeks ago losing body fat. So it's going pretty well. I um, Oh, you want me to look there? Mm -hmm. Oh, all right. So again, take two, two weeks ago. No, it's three weeks now. I started losing body fat and I've lost two and a half kilos by now. So. I'm aiming for losing half a kilo a week and I had pizza yesterday mm -hmm. Did I? Or the day before? The day before, the day before Saturday And now I'm having Kentucky But it all fits, you know, it fits in my macros And you do have to get some work done because I fill all my macros in and every calorie I eat is noted for So as long as I know what I'm eating, I can have delicious stuff like this So um, losing fat was never this delicious how cool is that? And that is also actually what I always tell you guys on my Instagram. If you don't follow me there, by the way, go and follow us. <laughs> uh, anyways, that by flexible dieting, of course, it doesn't mean that you could eat pizza and everything every day because that is just unhealthy. Everyone knows that. If you don't, you're just stupid. I'm sorry, but it's like that. The thing is that you can be really flexible in what you're eating. Just like now, I'm eating my salad. I pre-made this because I know I'm going to be on the road. I have healthy food with me. But this is also going to fit in my macros for the day. And both of us are using uh, MyFitnessPal, right? Yeah. The app. Actually, <clears throat> the reason I can eat this is because we had a long, long meeting. And usually I eat every two to two and a half hours. And True. now I didn't eat for like four. So that means I would skip a meal which I didn't have a choice in. So then this fits, so happy me. I'm gonna put away the camera because it's gonna get really greasy. So we got home and tonight is the night that in the Netherlands, the fifth episode, right Jer? Fifth episode of Game of Thrones is playing? Yep. Yeah. And it better be worth it because the last episode we were all very disappointed. I literally watched like one and a half to one hour of crap i was really disappointed <laughs> i will not like say anything about that because maybe i'm spilling it for you but it was just blah. so i hope this one is going to be better bahar is coming over that's our best friend and um i'm eating paprika right now <laughs> super random but lately i was just talking to jeremy lately i've been having not not even lately moment that's bahar just <laughs> It's gonna open the door. Anyways, um, so the last few days I've been having these ridiculous, how do you say that? Like food cravings to sugar, like I've never ever had before. Like, how do you call those? Like- Just cravings. Cra yeah, but not, not even cravings. Sugary. It's like a mood. <laughs> it's like a food attack or something. I don't know what it is, but it's ridiculous. Like I want to eat sugar all the freaking time with, oh my God. Hi, baby. Oh, no, okay. <laughs> so, I just had a chocolate cookie. You I ate what? candy. Yeah, yeah, I know. Oh, come I'm on. confessing on camera. But, you know, that's real life too. I know you guys probably have that too. And then <laughs> I'm balancing, balancing it out with paprika. Anyhow, I have no idea why I'm having those cravings. I'm definitely not pregnant. Let's put that out the way before anyone thinks any kind of weird stuff, but no. So I am going to try the next few days to drink at least three to four liters. I know that my uh, water intake has been lacking the last couple of days and it might be like the first week of my period too. So that I think has something to do with it too. I'm also feeling really bloated. So yeah, I don't know, I'm just nibbling on my paprika and hope it will all be okay. Hello. Hello.
my face after I saw the Game of Thrones episode 5. What in the actual fuck? I will not spoil anything for the people who haven't watched it yet, but girl, let me tell you this, that I was so disappointed. I already was disappointed at episode 4, even, even at episode 1, like the writers became so freaking lazy with writing Game of Thrones. They actually had different writers, that's what I read on the internet, and it completely sucks. Like I'm so disappointed. I'm going to see the Game of Thrones last episode in one of the biggest cinemas here in the Netherlands, and it's supposed to be fun and all, but if they don't like give us anything of a good story, Game of Thrones ended terribly. That's my review of Game of Thrones. <sighs> now you're probably wondering what the hell are you doing half naked on screen? I know. I thought about this. Um, let me just explain that to you before you're gonna get all judgmental, you know, I can understand. But I have a perfectly good explanation for that. <laughs> Because um, you guys know I dance like every freaking day now for the dance program, dance, dance, dance here in the Netherlands. My muscles are freaking sore and I thought, I am vlogging. I cannot let this real part of me with my head full of sweat and water, with my headband on, with me being completely done for the day actually, out of the vlog. It wouldn't be okay because today I posted something on Instagram that was actually really close to me. I talked about being you in social media. And um, I do feel that nowadays with the internet and YouTube and everything, um, there are like a lot of fake made up personalities that make people question their own. And that includes me because sometimes I um, compare myself to others, which I shouldn't do at all while I have 1.1 million followers on Instagram and almost 100K on YouTube, but girl, I still do it. And I think that's just human. That's why I just wanted to show you this raw, uncut version of me, myself and I being soaked and very done for bed. <laughs> Um, yeah, because I just think it's really important to spread that message. You guys know I'm always really into that and, you know, obviously there are certain things in social media that you cannot show. For instance, like your whole business, how do you say it, like your whole business thing, how you do things, etc. Because, you know, you're still a business, but don't get me wrong, being your own person on social media and actually trying to give something back to your followers. I always call them supporters. I don't know, it, it just seems weird to say that. It's so much better than creating this really obscene and famous profile. Uh, in Dutch, we call that fair van je bed show. And I don't even know how to translate that, but it's basically that those people are like so far away from you because they are famous that they are becoming not real humans in the follower his eye. <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense, but I'm really, you know, I'm not downgrading anyone that's put that out front, but I do think that sometimes being a little more human and showing your bad sides on social media would be a better thing to do than just showing the highlights of your life, which obviously, obviously like a lot of people do, but you know, being human is part of your freaking life, you know, every day. And I think you inspire the most people with just being you. So I'm gonna like stop rambling because I can talk about this topic for hours and hours and hours. Uh, I hope you like this vlog. I know it's a little different than normal, but I think you guys maybe saw it in the last video that my time is so limited that I'm really trying to make the best out of everything that I do on social media because it's my job and I really love to keep you guys involved in everything that is going on. So I thought, why not just vlog the life of moi? because that makes it a lot easier for me to keep up with you guys and just show me, you know, without being really stressed out about posting and actually making up something to film. Anyways, totally off topic, but I'm going to close down the vlog. I'm going back into my bath with my sweaty face. I'm going to put on a face mask. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave it a little thumbs up and obviously comment anything you want to if you want to and subscribe. Talk to you guys in the next vlog. Bye.